Angry protest in Pretoria, South Africa, as the release from prison of the far-right killer of anti-apartheid hero Chris Haney hung in the balance. Janus Wallace, a 69-year-old immigrant from the then communist Poland, was to be released Thursday after being controversially granted parole by the Constitutional Court. On Tuesday, Wallace was stabbed inside prison. Uh, we are here to express our solidarity with the people of South Africa who feel aggrieved from across all political parties and institutions that have sent us messages and made public messages about this matter. Because, as we all know, April 27 was literally written in his blood. Of course, representing uh, thousands of our martyrs of, in the struggle for national liberation and freedom in this country. The decision to release Wallace continues to drive angry protest. On Wednesday, the South African Communist Party, SACP, which Hani used to head, said it was petitioning the courts to go back on its ruling. We respect the rule of law, we respect the constitution, but uh, we are not happy. I think uh, where we are is that uh, the law must be able to recognize the, the morality because uh, morally it cannot be correct that uh, a person who nearly plunged the country into crisis uh, is released just like that. So we are not agreeing. Prison officials armed with rifles and dogs stood guard behind green metal prison gates as protesters chanted. Hani, a hugely popular figure, was shot dead in the driveway of his house on April 10, 1993.